Okay, I said I was going to do this daily because of the children and that May 20th thing that um, the satanic sacrificing here in the United States is. That's ridiculous. It's just uncalled for and the righteous need to stand up. So I'm going to pray for the United States. Um, it's all scripture, Numbers 6, 24 through 26. Holy Father, I thank you that you will bless the citizens of the USA and our country. You will keep us. You will make your face to shine upon the United States and our citizens and be gracious to us. You will lift up your head, your countenance upon us and give us shalom, deep, holy peace. Thank you for this, Holy Father. In Jesus' holy name. Um, Psalm 2 is very uh, pertinent about Jesus and his place in the government. So Psalm 2, why do the Hegen why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Holy Lord and against against His anointed one, which is Jesus, and us His followers. Let us break their chains, they say, and throw off their fetters. The one enthroned in heaven laughs, the Holy Lord scoffs at them. Then He rebukes them in His anger and terrifies them in His wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will proclaim the decree of the Holy Lord. He said to me, You are my son, today I have become your father. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations, your inheritance, the ends of the earth, your possession. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them in pieces like pottery. Therefore the kings will be wise. Therefore kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Holy Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you be destroyed in your way, for his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. That's the power of Jesus in our government. That's the power the believers have. So as we pray for Ukraine and everybody else, as we stand on the foundation of the Mayflower 1620 Compact, if we stand as the, the blood-bought church, these are um, the scriptures that we can claim. Second uh, Chronicles 7.14, If we humble ourselves as a nation and seek your face, Holy Father, you will hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. So, Holy Father, we just act on your word. Please forgive the United States and all its citizens for all its sins all the way back to when it was birthed in 1620 with the Mayflower Compact. Please put our sins under the holy blood of Jesus. I ask you to discipline and correct everybody in the USA, starting with the Church of Christ, all the believers first. If we're being naughty and rebellious, discipline us and correct us, Holy Father, completely, and then discipline the rest of people that are rebelling against you, Holy Father, out of your love because you do it in love. I'm going to pray Psalm 91. Um, the United States of America that dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the mighty. The USA will save you, Holy Father. You are our refuge, our fortress, our Holy God, in whom we will trust. Surely you will deliver the United States of America from the snare of the fallen, from the noisome pestilence. You will cover the USA with your feathers, and under your wings will we trust. Your holy truth will be our shield and buckler. A thousand will fall at the USA side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. Only with our eyes will we behold and see the reward of the wicked. For you will get, because we have made the Holy Lord as our refuge, even the most our habitation. No evil will, will befall us. For you will give your holy angels charge over the USA to keep us all in all your fruitful best holy ways. Your holy angels will hold us up in their hands so we will not dash our feet against a stone. We, the USA and its citizens, will tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon will be trampled under feet. Because we have set our love upon you, Holy Father, and you have set your love upon us, therefore you deliver us out of all darkness and evil. You will set us in a high, safe place, because we know of your holy names. We will call upon you, and you will answer us. You will be with us in trouble sometimes. You will deliver us and honor us with a long list life. Will you satisfy us and show us your holy salvation through the holy authority and blood of Jesus, our holy Savior and Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. And... It says, Timothy 2, 1 through 2, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and for all in authority, that we may live, pe live in peace and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So it's a command to pray for our, our leaders, our countries, and so on. Isaiah 2, 4, He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes. For many peoples, they will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Holy Father, we thank you for a time of shalom peace. Father God, we thank you for shalom, holy peace through Jesus, our holy Savior, Messiah. And Job 12, 23, 
He makes nations great and destroys them. He enlarges nations and disperses them. He deprives the leaders of the earth of their reason. He makes them wander in a trackless waste. Holy Father, give our nation's leaders holy wisdom. If there are any leaders that are in leadership that are not of you and they cheated to get that place, I ask you to take them off with your holy right hand and you take the glory and honor for it. Father God, it is all yours. And I just say, Our Holy Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done 100% in the USA and around the world. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Thank you, Holy Father, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. I pray this through the holy authority and blood of Jesus, our holy Savior and Messiah, who is the son of Mary and Joseph of holy virgin birth, born in Bethlehem, a Nazarite. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed rest of your day.